Welcome to our new show, Britain Unexplained, where we dive into the strange and mysterious occurrences around the UK. I'm Nathan Lockley, and for the first episode, we'll be looking into one of the most talked about mysteries in Britain, the infamous Big Cat sightings. For those of us living in the UK, claims of sightings of huge predatory cats like pumas and panthers are actually quite common, usually found in the headlines of local newspapers. But whether they're truly out there remains a hotly debated topic. So, let's get into the story. Imagine walking your dog through the British countryside only to spot a shadowy feline figure in the distance. A creature that appears to be far too large to be your average house cat. These sightings of big cats have been reported all across the UK for decades. But what are they and how did they get here? There have been many sightings across the last few decades, with some witnesses able to get video footage. Unfortunately, this is usually zoomed in, so details are lost, and there is usually no way of distinguishing the size of the animals, so domestic cats cannot be ruled out completely. But these aren't just a few isolated incidents. Over the past few years, there have been dozens of sightings, from Cornwall all the way up to Scotland. Most people describe these animals as looking like black panthers or pumas, often seen from a distance, but enough to make them certain they've spotted something out of the ordinary. One of the most exciting developments in the big cat mystery came in 2023. In Gloucestershire, a sheep had been killed, so experts were called in to investigate the cause. These experts, along with the farmer, searched the farmland for clues and eventually they found a tuft of black fur in a barbed wire fence. This hair was then sent off for DNA analysis, and to everyone's surprise, it showed markers that were consistent with the big cat species. This immediately reignited the debate of whether or not big cats are truly living in the wild in the UK. Could this be the proof we've been waiting for? If these creatures really are out there, this DNA could be the first piece of scientific evidence. But as always, there's the sceptical side. Could this DNA have been contaminated? Could the fur even have been planted? Or could it have come from another source that came into the UK for other reasons? Interestingly, it's not just big cats that have raised eyebrows in the UK in recent years. Over the last few decades, several species of wild cats have been discovered living in the British countryside. The Scottish wildcat is Britain's only native feline species, but in recent years there have been confirmed cases of other species being found. Since the 1980s, authorities have captured several non-native species, including lynxes, caracals and even a serval in North Wales. Now obviously, these cats are much smaller than the big cats that are being reported, but their presence does raise a very interesting point exotic felines can and do end up living wild in the UK. So it begs the question, could larger species like pumas and leopards have established themselves here too? While eyewitness sightings give us a glimpse into possible big cat activity, physical evidence adds another layer to this mystery. Over the years, several intriguing things have been found, including paw prints, deep scratches in trees, and the remains of prey that have all the hallmarks of large predators. One of the most compelling types of evidence is the paw prints, often found in mud or snow. These prints are significantly larger than those of domestic cats or even foxes. In some cases, the prints have been photographed and measured and experts have been brought in to analyze them. Some prints align closely with the paw size and shape of known big cat species like pumas or leopards. Then there are the claw marks. Trees in certain areas have been found with deep vertical scratches, much higher than any dog or fox could reach. For big cats, clawing at trees is a natural behaviour used for marking territory and sharpening claws, so these markings have drawn a lot of attention. This is a trigger warning. For those of you who may be squeamish, you might want to look away for a few seconds as the next few photos are a bit graphic. And of course, there are the carcasses of prey animals, often livestock or deer, 
that appear to have been killed in ways consistent with big cat attacks. These kills sometimes show puncture wounds on the neck and signs of powerful bite force, as well as a lack of scavenger marks, suggesting that they may have been hunted by something larger and more calculated than the typical countryside predators. While no evidence has conclusively proved a big cat attack, these findings are certainly enough to raise eyebrows and keep the debate alive. So if they are here, how did they get here? Well, some believe that they were exotic pets kept by private collectors that were released into the wild. In 1976, the Dangerous Wild Animals Act was introduced in the UK, which made it illegal to keep exotic animals, such as big cats, as pets without a permit. The theory is that those that were either unwilling or unable to comply simply released their cats into the wild. The theory then states that these cats bred and even hybridised and that this is what gave us the cats that are seen today. Britain is also not alone in its mysterious big cat sightings. Similar phenomena have been reported all around the world with the stories being very very similar. In Australia, for instance, there is the legend of the Phantom Panther. For decades, the people of the Blue Mountains and other regions claim to have seen black panther-like creatures prowling around in the wild. Much like with Britain, Australian sightings can include large paw prints, livestock kills, and large cats seen at a distance. Some researchers believe these cats were brought over to Australia during World War II, and were then either purposely or accidentally released into the wild. But again, as with Britain, there is no conclusive evidence to confirm these theories. And while the United States is known to be home to certain big cat species, this hasn't stopped reports of mysterious alien cats. And no, I don't mean little green cats. Non-native cats such as leopards and even tigers have been reported. But with so many reports from all around the world of these mysterious big cats being sighted where they shouldn't be, surely this is enough proof that they are truly there. But not everyone is convinced. While the stories are fascinating, skeptics will offer an alternative explanation. Firstly, there's the misidentification theory. Many of these sightings happen at a distance, often in poor light, and a regular domestic cat seen from afar can appear much larger than it really is. Combine that with overgrown countryside and shadows, and understandably, someone could mistake a big house cat for something more exotic. Others suggest that some sightings could be of large dogs. A quick glimpse of a dark dog, especially one that's moving quickly, might easily be confused for a big cat especially by someone not expecting to see it. And then there's the fact we've never had conclusive evidence, a body or even clear footage of one of these animals. Trial cameras set up in hotspots have yet to capture a big cat on film, though we do get plenty of foxes, badgers and other wildlife. So without definitive proof, the question remains. Are big cats really out there? Or is it just a case of folklore and overactive imagination? What do you think? Is the UK home to big cats lurking in the shadows of the British countryside? Or are they all just a case of overactive imagination and misidentification? Let us know which side of this debate you fall on in the comments. We'll be diving into more unexplained phenomena in upcoming episodes, so be sure to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon to stay up to date. Until next time. I'm Nathan Lockley, and for the words, this fur was then sent off for DNA analysis, and to everyone's surprise, I forgot the f***ing line. Over the last few decades, several species of wild cat have been found living in the fluvium boobum boobum. The Scottish wildcat is Britain's only native feline species, but in the last few years, other people forgot their line for two. Many believe that owners either unwilling or unable to comply to the... In 1976, the Dangerous Wild Animals Act was introduced in the UK. And then I forget the next bit.
Britain is also not alone in this thing that I forgot the words for. Sortings in Australia can include paw prints, other things that I've forgotten. While the stories are fascinating, some skeptics will have. Much like with Britain, I don't know.